known for many things. The grace of our horses, strength of our warriors, beauty of our women. But we are also known for darker things, things that come in the night. The wolf that howls to the full moon. The ghoul that eats the flesh of the dead. The ghost that haunts the cemeteries. But most feared of all is the vampire. No. Those that drink the blood of the living. Most feared of all vampires. It's the lead edge that I have seen. In our village, there was a young couple, Anna and Gregor, and they were very much in love. Now, some in the village encouraged Gregor to put Anna aside, for she could not have the children. And how can you have a farm without the children? But so great was Gregor's love for Anna that he would not do so. Sadly, a few years after they were married, Gregor died in a horrible accident on the farm. And Anna's soul became a grief, which, as you know, wrong. So the women of the village, we took it upon ourselves to go. Each night, one of us would go to Anna's house and bring her dinner and sit and visit to cheer her spirits. Well, the night, it was my turn. I brought her my soup, which, as you know, is the best soup in the village. <laughs> and I sat with her and talked. I, I noticed a twinkle in her eye, as if she had taken a lover. Anna, I said, <laughs> you've taken a lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sophia, she said, I have. But he is a dream lover. He comes to me at night and he loves me. When I wake in the morning, he is gone. My chest aches so. This I became a fear. We did. Had it come? We finished our soup. Darkness began to fall and Anna basically pushed me out of the house. Now Ray haste get to bed to wait for her luck. But I did not go home. Men, men, I went to the bushes just by her house, just outside the forest, to watch, to wait. Darkness fell and I saw from the sky a blood red star come down, landing in front of her door. The light faded. There he stood, this dark man, Dark hat, dark coat, dark boots. She went into her house. And I stood there with the moon and stars. Watch. Wait. After some time, the door opened and the man emerged again. He came the blood red star and rose into the sky. I raced into Anna's house, and there she lay in her bed, so pale, so cold, not moving. But she was breathing. So I woke her up, and I gave her some more of my soup. <laughs> then I said, Anna, please, he has come. And Anna cried, and I cried. And I said, do not be afeared. My grandmother has told me how to defeat this creature. I will come back tomorrow night. We will do so. So I went home. The next morning I sent my son, Janos, to Elizabeth's house to tell her, do not go to Anna's, I am going again that night. Now some of you, probably the men in this audience, are saying to yourselves, Sophia, why do you not tell your husband? <laughs> what? What would a man do? <laughs> He'd pull out his sword, run around all proud and cock sure. Yes? <laughs> we do not need this now. <laughs> we need cunning. Guy. A woman's woman. 
So that night I went back to Anna's house, bringing her some of my second best soup. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her what my grandmother had taught me to defeat the village. When he lay with her, she must not fall asleep. She must find one of his boots and hide it. Not questionable. We are Madhyar, and we do what our grandmothers. <laughs> Darkness fell. I went back to the shrubs, to the forest, to watch, to wait. And again, the blood red star came and landed inside her door. Faded away, and there he stood dark hat, dark coat, dark boots. Lineage. He went into her house. And I stood there with the moon, the stars, to watch. Then I heard the yelling start, and I knew Anna must have succeeded. And the door was thrown open, and there he stood, dark man, dark hat, dark coat, no boots. <laughs> But instead of the feet of a man, he had the talons of a rooster. At the sight of this, I must have made some noise that perhaps I turned that where I was. Again, to stop towards me. Oh, sweet Jesus, save me. Oh, sweet Mother, graciously protect me. Oh, sweet Savior, save me. Oh, great Mother, save me. Oh, sweet Savior, save me. Oh, great Mother, and just as he was to see me there in the bushes, a fox darted out, <laughs> drawing his eye. He walked away, and I knew I had been saved. He once again became the blood red star and rose into the sky, and I raced into Anna's house, and there she lay again, so cold, so pale, not moving. Barely I woke her, kissed her on the cheek, for she had done it my phone. Then I took that damn boot and made the largest bonfire in all of Hungary and burned that boot to ash so that never again would that leader come to my people, to my village. So my friends, my warning to you is this. Beware the darkness of the soul, but you never know what it may call. <laughs>